Welcome back to Rayano, everybody. You know that this is a popular place. And just wait while you see this incredible, incredible townhouse that we have for you today. Enjoy this one. So we've done a number of, uh, of videos in Rayano um, and I must say that the properties we have I think have all sold in this town now. It's a really popular place and that's because first of all it's a great place, beautiful place and second of all because it has all the services. So it has buses, it has a train station, it's close to Sulmona, it's close to many attractions, it's on the way to Rome, it's just a brilliant, beautiful place. So what I'm going to do, because we've done a number of these uh, property videos here, I'm going to put a couple of links to, uh, to ones in the description. Just in case you want to see a little bit more of the town, uh, you can look back on those. But as I said, uh, they have actually sold the properties now. so. That's just how popular this place is. So I'll put a couple of links uh, in the description if you do want to have another walk around um, Rayano. But for now, we'll go and see this amazing property that is a minute's walk in this direction. Enjoy this one. So the little square where we started, I think everybody knows Rayano now, I've done enough on this place. And the house we're going to look at is we're going to walk into this car then <laughs> i'm so excited to show you this one is this green property look how superb that is completely restored on the outside and just wait while you see how it's divided up on the inside it's just perfect and later in the video even though I do mention when I do these videos I always I usually start inside and move out so I'm filming this after I've done the inside don't know why I'm telling you this but I, I do say that we're gonna to go to the final thoughts but I'm gonna show you the surprise at the end because that is incredible but just look look at this What an amazing looking traditional townhouse, don't you think? Absolutely brilliant. It's in superb order and it's split into apartment and then house. It's actually got two levels. Absolutely brilliant. And while I'm outside, obviously I've shown you the little town which you've seen before. Just want to show you this little street and something down here that is incredible as well. But as you'll see, all of these properties, they're all in great condition. They've all been all, been, all nicely taken care of. People living in them. Rayano is, is a brilliant place. So no doubt I'll mention this a million times in the video, but Rayano has train station, bus station, all the services, bar, bars, a couple of restaurants, but it also has something else that's incredible. Oh, and by the way, this is also coming up for sale. This is another great one with some beautiful balconies, some amazing views. More to follow on that soon. Let's concentrate on today's video because this is a, a fantastic property I'm going to show you. But I want to show you how close to nature we are. And in particular, a gorge in the mountains. Just hope I can see it properly. I mean, we're right in the, in the heart of the the Val di Pellini, so we're close to Sulmona. The next village along is Vittorito. 
we're close to the mole to where we're close to everything but this spot here you could walk to it from here I'm not going to do but you could <laughs> I just hope you can see it from here uh, you can sort of see it but this is a, a gorge into the mountain here and it is absolutely incredible so you've got all of this beautiful countryside right on your doorstep but you're in a town that's got all the services and you're close as I say to Salmona and everything else look at the high mountains in the in the background so the property is just where that car is sort of turning right just up there just show you a little bit more of the the mountains just look how beautiful all of this is incredible there's so many towns and villages around here as well and Vittorito the little village of Vittorito is just round this corner two minutes from here and you have Popoli close by I mentioned all the others Corfino, Prezza, Sulmona, Pratola where you can get coaches to Rome brilliant place absolutely brilliant are you ready? Are you ready to see it? Are you ready to see this amazing house? Let's go and see. Okay, so let's take a look inside this one. So this property for me is split up perfectly. Because as you saw from the outside, or as you, as you have seen from the outside, it's three stories. So up there, is a house if you like two-story house and this part here is completely separate so this could be a little rental unit it could be when you have visitors over that you give them their own key and they're down here on their own look at this everything in great condition so you've got a little kitchen area Not a huge kitchen, but perfectly formed. And just like the rest of the house, the electrics, everything is it's fairly new. So there's nothing to do, nothing. The windows are great. Actually, there's one thing to do. I think it needs, I would put some uh, uh, fly screens on. That's the only thing, but they're not majorly expensive. They've got the fridge here. It's a small fridge because he's only ever used it to rent it out that kind of thing but you could have a full size fridge there's plenty of room show you the little balcony in a sec and the way this is laid out is you've got a lounge area and then beyond that the bedroom area and bathroom so it's laid out to me it's laid out perfect this is absolutely ideal for relatives or renting I'll show you down there in a second. Let's uh, let's go back. I'm trying to move the camera slower because people say I go too fast. So I'm trying to slow down, trying to relax into everything. <laughs> so these windows, great condition. They're wood. I don't know why I knock on it. What, what's that all about? Why, why do I knock on it? Anyway, double glazed, wood, and then you have the metal shutters outside as well that you can open and all that sort of stuff this is a a small balcony not much of a view because you're in the town there's Domenico <laughs> his famous two-fingered salute in the correct way though <laughs> so the, the center is just where we come from it's just around there so you're you're 30 seconds from the center and in this direction down here and to the left is um, a gorge into the mountains that is just incredible okay so remember this is just part of the house this is just your little extra space the house is upstairs so here's the living space Superb living space, lots of space here. Could have a pull down sofa bed as well in here if needs be.
Brilliant. What would you do in here? There's not really much to do, is there? And then the bed, bedroom area. Again, a great size. I like that it's got this little bit of a, a divider up just to keep just to keep it separate from the from the living area. But look at all the space. They've put the washing machine here. So all the fittings for the washing machine is there. I don't think it's fine to have it there. There's still loads of space. Maybe just needs putting behind some sort of cabinet. Maybe turn it that way and have a cabinet room along this way. Maybe you don't need a five door wardrobe. But look at all the space, huge. Great rental. And places like this, because right round are such a popular place and a great place, you could still easily get 50 odd euros a night out of season. What a fantastic investment as well as a property. I am really excited about this one. <laughs> Which, oh, church bells. I was just wondering. I've not had church bells this morning, heard church bells this morning. There you go. As soon as I press record, they're there. By the way, we've got all the windows. So before people start saying, oh, that'll wake you up and all the rest of it, it won't. And it doesn't go all night. Okay, so we've got a shower, sink, toilet and bidet, and a little bit of storage. You know, maybe the washing machine may fit down there, actually. Anyway. So it's a great little bathroom. I think this this room is brilliant, absolutely brilliant. And this is only part of the house. Okay, there is a huge cantina under here, which I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you not now. I'm going to show you a little bit later in the video, because that. That's the little secret space. That's the little, uh, that's the little uh, surprise. And we'll show you that towards the end of the video because that could be something really special down there. Okay, let's now head upstairs to the main house. So coming up to the separate apartment, I'm telling you, these are just, this by the way, this is what Italians do when they've had a, uh, when there's a newborn in the family. Uh, obviously pink for a girl, blue for a boy. Probably not politically correct at the moment, but that's the way it's done. So look at this. Look what else we've got. Completely separate apartment. Let me uh, close the door behind me. First of all, the kitchen. Again, great condition. A simple kitchen, but everything you need here. A couple of little bits that I would do. Potentially I would change the, uh, I know I always pick little bits, but it's important that you see everything. I would change the worktop, because a little, a couple of little bits that just look a little bit, a little bit messy. But other than that, perfect. And this I'm presuming, oh no, the fridge is there. This is actually a fridge cabinet. Oops. Oh, it has got a fridge in there. I probably should delete that off the uh, video. I'll put that on my bloopers section. <laughs> Can't believe I've done that. Anyway. So that's the kitchen. Great kitchen. Just off the kitchen is a bathroom. There is another one upstairs, but it doesn't have a shower. It just has the toilet area and things like that. But I think you could put another one upstairs, another shower, because it's directly above this. Again, reasonable size. Everything you need. And the washing machine. Shower's a good size. I can definitely uh, get in there. As I've mentioned before, I am big boned. And then we have 
the living area. Now they have put a bed in the living area. It is a young couple, but they've put a bed down here because they just said it was easier while the little one was well, literally a newborn. So the great thing about this place is upstairs, there's two beds and, and another half bath. So all of this can just become living space, which is just fantastic. Could put a dining area here, living space there, or leave it as it is and dining table at the bottom. It's in such great condition. You gotta remember the boiler's new, the electrics are new, all the outside's being done. The windows are in great condition. To me, this property is is what I like to call a no-brainer. The location is amazing. I know I keep going on about locations and stuff, but it's important. Rayano is a brilliant place and a really popular town as well. Really popular. There's a train station here. Sorry about the flashing TV. I'm just trying to turn that off actually because it's a little bit annoying on the video. So I've emptied the fridge, turned the telly off. <laughs> I'll just make myself at home. Uh, but yeah, sorry, there's railway station here, there's buses, there's everything you need, and we're two seconds from the main piazza. As I said, all the electrics and heating are new. The radiators are the old type in some of the rooms. These iron ones, but that's fantastic. So once they get warm, they really keep the heat in. And then the boiler, you could have a cupboard made for that. But again, brand new. But what a great open space. It's quite modern, but who cares? It's really traditional from the outside of you see, but it's just easy modern living. I think this place is fantastic. Imagine this all as living room and dining room. Perfect. And then you've got that separate space downstairs to rent as well. If you wanted to rent or maybe for family and friends. Brilliant. These windows, as I mentioned, are in great condition. Let me see if I can just rearrange something else in the house. So these are, are wood, double glazed, and the shutters on the outside. And then you have a balcony that you could pull a chair out onto. And a bit of a view of the part of the mountainside and then you're right in the centre just round that just past that yellow building you're in the centre brilliant a bit of manoeuvring there so obviously there is a lot of furniture in here at the minute they've got the baby's cot bed pram everything else but this is a spacious room okay so Let's take this upstairs. Again, marble stairs. And because we're under the roof, it has been, uh, they've got skylights in here, so there's plenty of light. Bedroom. easily get a double bed in here obviously it's full at the moment but you would have no problem getting a double bed in then you have another double bedroom look at the size of the wardrobe so you can imagine the size size of the bedroom the bed by the looks of it originally went up against that wall and you've got these skylights to give you the extra lights. So they're really bright. Yes, there's no views out of the bedroom, but at least they're bright. And then here is the, the little uh, toilet area. But directly below us, I believe is the, uh, yeah, there it is, the bathroom. So I think I'd reconfigure this and put another shower in. There's plenty of room. Put the shower at the end there and move these a little bit this way. You could definitely do it. 
So what do you think of this? Have we found you another great place? In an incredible location? I think we have. Let me know in the comments what you think. So looking at the surprise area, there's the entrance. Just wait while you see this now. What would you do down here? Let me know. Look at this. Look at the features down here. Stuff like this, it sends shivers down my spine. Look how many, this is just, this is just unbelievable. Oh, sorry, my uh, my camera cut off then. All of this, by the way, will be moved. This is because the, the gentleman owns a bar, so uh, keeps a few things down here. But look at this, look at these cross vaultings. These are gonna be three meters high. Unbelievable. What would you do down here? This, just to let you know, is another, is a boiler that does the first floor, so the little apartment. So it has its own boiler. So it's completely separate to the to the one upstairs. This is also, also in great condition. That scared the life out of me. That's a pump for some of the water. Obviously they have mains water here, but they have these storage things as well. So it's an excellent system. Look at this. What would you do down here? Could maybe even create another little apartment. I don't know. Maybe ask the geometer and the council. Unbelievable. Or just have it is what they call a taverna. A taverna is where you have parties and things. Can you imagine? Imagine this all being revealed, all the stone being revealed. Imagine what it will be like. A huge table down the middle, a bit of a kitchen area down here, because some of the water pipes will run down this way. And then you've even got another area at the back. That's huge as well, a bit of a wine cellar. You know, every time that water pump goes off, it scares the living daylights out of me. <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. Let me know what you would do. Tell me what you would do down here. Brilliant. So let's do our final thoughts on this amazing bargain property. Okay, so my final thoughts on this one. What am I gonna say? Fantastic. Absolute bargain property. Amazing location. Rayano is so popular now. It's becoming one of our, well, one of our number one spots. Close to Sulmona, you're in the heart of the Polinia Valley. You're five, 10 minutes off the motorway that takes you to Rome. You've got public transport, not just buses, you've got trains. Trains that run directly into Sulmona as well. You've got everything you need in the town. You've got supermarket, you've got, uh, well, you've got supermarkets, you've got bars, you've got a couple of restaurants. It's just an amazing place. And this property, whether it's a holiday home or whether it's investment, it's just, it's fantastic, it's perfect. It's ready to go, ready to go. Excellent location, excellent price. What else can I say? Tell me, what can I say? <laughs> Write in the comments what I should say. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, as usual, thank you so much for all the support, for watching these videos. Keep clicking those like buttons and write some comments. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon that apparently tells you when I've, uh, when I've done another video, I guess that's how it works, but yes. And join us every Thursday for our live streams when we talk about buying, restoring and everything else here in beautiful Italy. And as I always say, and you're tired of hearing it, and you know I'm gonna say it again, whatever you do, do not miss this one.